today from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. This is the National Football League. We'll see Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers taking on Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Historic Lambeau Field fittingly it butts up against Lombardi Avenue here in the heart of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Today we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Dallas Cowboys and the Green Bay Packers. Mason Crosby of the Packers has it teed up, and off we go from Lambeau. This take it in at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Dak Prescott and Dallas taking the field for their first possession. Dak now in his seventh season in charge of the Cowboys. Two-time Pro Bowler. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. It's excellent execution to get things started. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Now let's see the Packers defensively. Six DBs, so a dime look on third. Could play coverage or bring pressure. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. Well, I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week. But they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. That's to his running back, complete. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Caught on the right side by Jones. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield. After the catch, when they're running with the ball, they think they're going to win those, too. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Here's Rodgers to throw. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 20-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Rodgers now on first down. He's got Tunyon complete over the middle. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. 
such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Throwing again on second down. Rodgers, and his throw's gonna be incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. They'll run it with Jones. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get him the football back. Partner, when you see a running play stop short like that, you just know that the defensive front, they won the battle of leverage and created the push back into the opposing backfield. And for the offensive coordinator, whether you had one yard to go or 20 yards to go on fourth down, now you're probably saying, oh, maybe I should have passed it, right? Yeah, hindsight is always 20-20. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Now Prescott. And he'll go right back to Lamb. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Four yards the pick up, first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Now Prescott. And this one quickly to Lamb. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 29-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. <laughs> I can't help but chuckle a little bit because at this point, it can't be a surprise to anyone in the building who's going to get the ball. They just keep feeding him over and over, and he just keeps on delivering. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And the Packers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. Flush to his right. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. 
gets past one man. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. They'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. They start on the ground with Elliott. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Meanwhile, Dax throw pulled in by Lamb. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Prescott off play action. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup, and he will have a Cowboys first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. This offense is starting to get into rhythm. A nice quick throw there on target able to pick up another first down. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. And a good burst there gets him seven up to midfield. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now second and short. What do you think early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 73 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Here's Prescott. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Less than a minute to go here in a scoreless first quarter to this point. Tim carry now for Elliott. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 28-yard line. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. It's a first down following a gain of three. No score after one on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. On play action, Prescott. Open man, right side, it's Lamb. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Play action now, Prescott. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. You can't be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, 
Sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Play fake. Here's Prescott. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Mark able to put this one through, and the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously, not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. The Packers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. Meanwhile, Rodgers' throw brought in by Watson. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Rodgers going to give this one to Dylan. The pick up there, and it's a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Rodgers now on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Rodgers going to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Who finds his receiver, Watson. And this won't be enough. A good, secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. This is taken at the 15, and he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Zeke and the Cowboys ready to begin their next drive, and he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Well, normally, you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Looking to throw. Prescott. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Inside give to Elliott. And it's not going to be enough here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker. Fourth down. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? 
A PAT? That's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. They are still in search of their first points of the ball game, but only down 6 nothing as they begin with a first down. Rodgers throw complete here on target to Tunyon. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. On second and 11 now. Rodgers. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. The Packers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. To throw, it's Rodgers. Got a man, it's Tunyon. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. To throw again on second down. Rodgers, that's Tunyon bringing in the quick throw. And they'll work this down inside the 30. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Now a throw here, hauled in. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now Dillon on the inside give. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. On second and one, Rodgers toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted just unable to complete it in the end zone. A touchdown! Robert Tunyon from six yards away. And the Packers are an extra point away from taking the lead. Crosby with the extra point, and they take the lead here at 7-6. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was Robert Tunyon capping it all off on the touchdown grab. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. And Charles, you can't really fault him. He's over 100 yards already. He's not the reason they're losing. And that is really unusual because ordinarily, when you set the tone this way and have run it this effectively, usually your team's in control. So it's a very strange situation. And you're right, you can't fault him. He's done a great job for his team thus far. I'm guessing he's saying, feed me on the sidelines. That will they continue to do it. And he'll get about three up past the 25. 
Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback. And the, the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Now Prescott on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Drop for a loss there on a nice effort by Osa Adigizua. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. To throw is Rodgers. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The kick by Crosby is good, and they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen, put more points on the board his efforts yeah I'm curious to see Charles if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well and we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action we remind you that coming up in two minutes time we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line the Cowboys gonna use their second timeout now so that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. There's Prescott. Out of his hands quickly to CeeDee Lamb. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing, Prescott. Over the middle complete, that's Schultz. And they're gonna get this down inside the 20. First down now, but that clock rolling. From the red zone now, Prescott. That's caught again by Schultz. And the Cowboys are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Cowboys will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there, a touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters.
Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Packers with a football here late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. On first down, Rodgers. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing is Rodgers. Tunyon's got it on the out route. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts, as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And he'll just get rid of it. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's Rodgers. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also in the field goal range at the 28. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. The kick by Crosby is good. And that's going to tie us at 13. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in every... Well, no sooner did the teams get to the locker rooms, and they're running right back out. Halftime over, third quarter, ready to go. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. Well, the Packers ready to go to start quarter number three. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. On second down, Dillon. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And he stopped immediately there. Anthony Barr in on the tackle. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 45-yard line. Working from the gun, Rodgers. He'll find Lazard here over the middle. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Brought down on the play by Deron Bland. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. 
Rodgers now to throw. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys. 12-yard line. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh shot of downs. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the ball back. And at this stage in the game, sure, you wanted the touchdown. You're already in the red zone. But, boy, you squandered a chance to at least get the field goal there. So no points out of this, and we stay tied. Very disappointed team. No one more disappointed than the kicker who thought he had a chance to be the hero of the day. They, all they had to do is trot him out on the field. They didn't even give him the opportunity. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. To throw is Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Elliott. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And boy, he is very close to a first down. But from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. They tried their best to pick up that third and one, but their surge wasn't enough to counteract what came back at them from the defensive side, was it? Offensive line, especially in the middle, looked like they were on skates a little bit when that one started. So now we bring up fourth and inches. This would be a critical call. They've been burned twice already on fourth down, but the third time's the charm as they keep the drive moving. They only needed about four or five inches there, relied on the big guys up front, and got it done. Yeah, this is the time to just go ahead and hit it straight ahead. No juking, right? No movement in the back. Packer pressure, and down he goes. And they're going to hurry back to the line now to try again after the sack. Prescott, throw right side, taken in by Gallup. Hook up of 15 yards there. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. They'll try and run for it with Allen. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. A big play here for Dallas. 46 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. It was Jaron Reed who got him down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Prescott. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Off the play fake, Prescott. They'll roll him out, and he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. It's Kingsley Enigbari finding a way in to bring him down. The kick by Maher is good. And they have regained the lead. So 
So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score. I think Coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Rodgers. He'll get this to Lazard, and he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll bring up fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. From a star in college to a star in the NFL, CeeDee Lamb at wide receivers, he brings out this offense. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. How many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott able to hit his target, Lamb. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leads him with third and one. They come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They didn't. Oh, Prescott stripped. And this is going to be Packer football. What oh, part oh, 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 they went empty set there? No bats in the backfield. All receivers out in the pattern. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect. No him. one else there to protect, which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit, but not go down and fumble the ball. And he was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Second and 11 now. Now it's Rodgers. Steps away to his left. Wide open is Watkins. He's got it. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. Throwing now is Rodgers. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. And right side, they're going to go option here. Now the ball comes loose. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And just as they thought they might be able to take that across and get the lead, a big red zone turnover. I know that I am defense-centric, and I want to give them a whole lot of credit, but I just can't believe after that drive, in that position, ball security paramount, they turned the ball over. Terrible. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. 
A first down throw for Prescott. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Again to Elliott. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. On play action, Prescott. And looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Quay Walker. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Rodgers now on first down. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. The one side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks them right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon. As he ran off the field after making that play, we saw his quarterback seek him out and offer a personal thank you to bail him out a little bit as the offense takes the field again. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. The give is to Elliott. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. And even 150 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Again, it's Elliott. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. It's a keeper with Prescott. And it this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. Mike McCarthy pretty decisive. He brings out that red challenge flag. So that challenge, not successful there. and That's going to cost him the first of his timeouts. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we'll watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. 
Throwing is Rodgers on third down. Got Dobbs over the middle. And he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down at around the 22. The kick by Crosby is good. In the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Up the middle, here's Elliott. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Another carry for their leader, and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. They'll run with Elliott. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. And was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm got is just... And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And the Packers are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back on the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Rodgers going to throw. And this is caught by Watkins. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about penalty so they accept the penalty of course and push the offense backwards a bit They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive Elliott. and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down nice chunky yard the first opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Now a leaping catch. He got, it. got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Elliott. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. On second and 12, Prescott. Yeah. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, 
finding the hole in the defense and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. And he will have a Cowboys first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. On second down, Elliott pushing forward for three up to the 48. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take out extra blocks, and actually... And this is going to be intercepted. DeFondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks up. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. Being chased out left. That is caught. It's the tight end, Tanya. Over out of bounds right at the 25. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Here's Rodgers to throw. And he's wrapped up. Down back at the 25. Defensive end Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. Rodgers now after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. Now Rodgers. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least it'll be fourth down. The kick by Crosby is good, but now there is a marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. And they'll accept that penalty. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Throw right side, this is into the hands of the tight end, Tunyon. And the Packers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. <laughs> to throw, it's Rodgers. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Rodgers taking it in from two yards out. And the Packers have broken our tie and have taken a fourth-quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And they will take a seven-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. And out now come the Cowboys. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. He's got Elliott, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. 
So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Dak. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this one is incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. And that's complete to Brown. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I gotta say. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. To throw, Prescott. This will be caught by Brown. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's Prescott. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And that's intercepted yet again. And that could be the backbreaker. Jair Alexander. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber, I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And he'll take this one only up to his 13-yard line. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. To throw is Rodgers. High throw, but he makes the catch. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A big gain there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Rodgers to throw. And he'll let this go deep for Lazard. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that was just about what happened on this game. And that touchdown, Charles, with very little time remaining, boy, it just sucked any energy and momentum out of the other sideline. Yeah, it's taken an incredible comeback in the final minute to bring this one back to even. A great series there offensively. They saw an opportunity to slam the window shut, and they followed through. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. 
Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Prescott. Buying time to his left. And that is incomplete. When you're leading in the final four, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shot. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Now one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. Charles, for this losing side, their heads are hanging as they walk off the field today. And really, I mean, we know why those three turnovers by that offense, that's ultimately what doomed them. And this is what coaches preach all the time to every team that we ever talk with. Taking care of the ball on offense, trying to take it away on defense. And let's face it, when you give it away three times in one game, you make it very difficult for your team to get